¿Cuánto es la tasa ahora? Eh, está ¿Cuánto es la tasa ahora? La tenemos a 195. 195 por 50 tiene más de 200. Todo bien, boludo. Welcome to the country of good food and wine, late nights, and a government that really doesn't know how to balance his checkbook. Welcome to Argentina. Now I used to live in Argentina, which means that this trip will be a little bit different than the ones that we've taken so far. And what I was thinking of doing today is going to the old neighborhood where I used to live. You want to join me? I just changed some money over there on La Caixa Florida to get the actual exchange rate on the black market. And uh, I think we're ready to go. Vamos. Like old times, we're gonna go down here and take the metro, which is called the Subte in Argentina, to get over to my own neighborhood. And one thing I forgot to tell you is that neighborhood, Once, is kind of considered to be the hood here in Buenos Aires. If you're a fan of mosaics, the metro stations in Argentina are actually pretty nice. Right here, you have some mosaics depicting the Liberación of Chile and Peru by San Martin, one of the great heroes of Argentina. One of my favorite things about riding the, uh, the subway here. ¿Dónde compro el boleto? No, en afuera, en la Antiojo. En la tarjeta de Tengo que comprarlo en Antiojo. Times have changed here. I gotta go out and find the uh, kiosco to go buy my metro ticket. First and most important piece of advice I can give you if you want to come to Argentina is bring a lot of dollars with it, okay? Because they got problems with inflation. The exchange rate that the government tells you is not the real one. Basically, you're gonna lose like half your money if you try to take out money from the ATM. So you gotta come here to Florida Street, Caixa Florida, and you'll find a lot of homies like this offering to exchange your dollars at the real exchange Muy ah, no, 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 sí, no, 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 Plus de 60. 60 ahora es como cuánto, cuántos viajes? Eh, tres viajes. Tres viajes. Sí. Y mira, Gracias. Gracias. Ojo, no va a perder la tarjeta. Sí, sí. sí. Okay. To me, I haven't lived here before. Even the money is really interesting. This right here, this would have been one of the older bills that they were still using like 10 years ago when I was here. And back then, back in like. 2009, 2011, around those times. This 20 was worth about, how much was it worth? Maybe $7, something like that. This one right here, this used to be the biggest bill in circulation. It was about like $35. And now, it's not even a dollar, it's like 50 cents. Over the past year or two, they had to actually create new bills, like 500s, 200s, to make up for the massive rate of inflation they've been suffering in Argentina. So I finally got the card, and thank God that I did, because no exaggeration, if I couldn't find it, I was literally gonna jump this turnstile over right here. And it's not like it would make it a huge difference. Do you know how much it costs to actually go through this and get on the train and ride it anywhere in the city? 20 pesos, which is basically 10 cents at this point. 
error de grabación What that basically means is the Argentinian government is effectively subsidizing the metro for everybody. Which is nice, I guess. But for a country that's been in debt for over 20 years, I don't know. foreign countries where I'm giving the locals directions. Alright, so the area we're in now is considered the Onse. And this is kind of like a major commercial area and also a major bus station. And it's about something like a 10 to 20 minute walk to the house where I used to live. So uh, let's go do that. Maybe talk to some people along the way. Ah man. I'm already having such a nostalgia bomb here. I recognize those two pizzerias across the street on that corner and that corner. Another change that I noticed, since it's my first time back here in almost 10 years, they now have these iron fences surrounding all the major statues in the city. I would guess that's for similar reasons why they're starting to do that in like London and New York, but as you can see, it's not stopping people from using this as a uh, trash dumpster. Las Islas Malvinas, the Falkland Islands. Oh. I may have just interrupted something going on behind me. Ah, yeah, the fun kind of experiences you can have in Onsen. Alright, let's see. Uh, an old place was somewhere around here. I think it's like two or three blocks from here. Oh shit, that's the place where I used to buy my vegetables over there. Looks like they built it up way more though. Let's see. Tengo una pregunta. 
antes vivía acá en esta esquina. ¿Sabes qué pasó con los chinos del frente? Se fueron. Se fueron. ¿Sabes a dónde? O... Y esta es la misma tienda de hace siete sí. años. Ah. I didn't really recognize the guy working in that shop, but apparently it's the same one from seven years ago. And I was asking him because there used to be this tiny little store that was run by these two Chinese Argentinians. They used to be right here, but uh, according to him, they're gone. It's too bad. I remember I used to like come down and uh, I was just learning Chinese at that point. I could barely say anything, but I'd come over here, I'd buy like a water bottle or something, and I'd practice saying like the colors in Chinese or something. <laughs> the lady would be so excited. Ah, uh, this is the one. I can't tell you the number of the house, but this is it. Hola, hay alguien adentro? I'd really like to walk in and like show you the place because the unique thing about this place is even though we're in a rough neighborhood, that house was beautiful. It had like this amazing terrace and everything. All right, so I talked to the, uh, the new occupants of the house, like four Argentinian dudes, I think they're friends or something. And uh, apparently they're busy cooking. They said if I want, I could come back tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. I'll let you know what happens. Oh, that's wild. So this spot right here, I almost didn't recognize it because back when I used to live here, this used to be like a giant marketplace. Like street vendors would pull up here, they'd be selling clothes, like all these different things. Sometimes drugs. Hola, tengo una pregunta. ¿Cuándo se construyó este parque? Ay, sabes que no sé muy bien, pero sé que no hace tanto. Antes vivía acá, había sí. Había construcciones, sí. Ah, ok, hace siete años. Ah, no había mira. esto, había un mercado. Y claro. Con muchas personas y No, todo. yo me mudé este año por acá, así que no sé. ¿Es un buen barrio? O... Sí, sí, sí. sí. I turned the whole thing into like a little, uh, little park. Got Argentinians walking the dogs around, playing with the kids. You know, if you come to this country, I'll warn you right now, Argentinians will tell you that this is like the worst country ever. It's completely going to shit. But uh, in spite of all the problems, and there are always problems in Argentina, there's always a new economic crisis. It's not a bad place to be at all. Hey, look at this. They built this park. For me, this is maybe the most unique neighborhood in all of Argentina. Around 10, 20 years ago, the government of Argentina decided they needed more immigrants. So they made a plea to all the neighboring countries. Basically, you can come here, we'll give you residency, we'll give you a fast track to citizenship. So what happened was, many Bolivians, Paraguayans, they started coming. In recent times, we started to have more Venezuelans, and, as we just saw, even people from Senegal. Oh. 
Classic Argentinian street food right here. And choripan. Basically a sausage made from blood in a sandwich. It's a lot better than it sounds. Trust me. El once. The main thing that people come here for is there's trains that go into the province, what's called the province of Buenos Aires, the provincia de Buenos Aires. So up here you have like a list of all the places you can go. And that's where most of the people you see walking around here are coming from. Usually from uh, the south of Buenos Aires. This right here says, if voting was any good, or if it had any purpose, it would be prohibited. <laughs> and then, written in black spray paint just below that, is chorros, thieves. So that was interesting. You just witnessed one of the most common experiences in Buenos Aires, which is ir al chino, going to the Chinese supermarket. So Chinese supermarkets are so common in Argentina that they're basically like the 7-Eleven of Argentina. <laughs> Almost every block has one. And when an Argentinian is thinking of just making a run to the corner store to buy something, he's thinking of ir al chino. And this isn't an example of uh, like the Chinese government coming in and like taking over economically. These supermarkets have been here for generations. They started with Taiwanese immigrants coming to Argentina. And now more recently, you're getting more immigrants from the mainland. Now, if I were to tell you that the biggest mafia in Argentina, in a country made up of primarily former Italian immigrants, <laughs> is not the Italian mafia, but actually the Chinese mafia, you'd probably be pretty surprised. And one of their rackets is going to all these Chinese-run supermarkets and basically forcing them to pay protection money. Didn't expect that, did you? To be honest with you, I know almost nothing about wine. I mean, I know the basics. <laughs> but I would have no idea how to tell a good wine from a bad wine. But the good thing about Argentina is that there's such a grand diversity of producers here that you can find wines for literally like two dollars that are really good. Alright, let's go pay a visit to the old house. The new residence there said I could come in for a bit. Take a look. Hola. Muy bien, muy bien. Tomás. Tomás? Tommy. Yeah. Ahí lo llamo los chicos. Hola, sí, sí. Dale sí. que pase, que pase. Pasa adelante. Oh, okay, qué Adelante, adelante. Hola. Hola. Muy bien, muy bien. Bienvenido a tu casa, sí. a tu antigua casa. Exacto, sí. Qué forma, Ramón. Gracias. Muy bien. La última. Sí, sí. Hacer la mía. Ah, bueno. Ah, bueno. Sí. Pasé este tengo la un desastre en el cuarto. Okay. Pero sí, sí. Un pequeño vistazo por acá. Tengo un poco desordenado. No sé qué ver. Pero sí, está. No lo muevo en la habitación, ¿no? Muchas gracias. Sí, la ventana. Total, sí, sí. Es sí. aire fresco. ¿Es música o.? Eh, sí, 
Sí, sí, sí. El piano no toco mucho, la guitarra más que nada, pero uno okay. de los chicos tocaba el piano. Ah, Se okay. fue y me lo vendió muy, muy barato. Bien, mira, ah. te voy a traer el, este, este para vos. Ah, qué bien. Lágrima del diablo, siracha, hot sauce. Lágrima del diablo. ¿Con salsa picante o no? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, claro. Sí. Norteamericano. Claro, claro, sí. Y bueno, nosotros no somos argentinos porque acá no comen mucho picante. Pero, Pero, ¿De dónde son? De Venezuela. Ah, oh, de Venezuela. Sí. Ah, muy bien. Sí, sí, sí. Venezuela. Así es. Oh. ¿Y ustedes Entonces, fabrican esto? ¿Cómo sí? Ah, qué sí, bueno. Sí, es, sí. es tu marco. Sí, sí, de los, de los tres de los que vivimos acá, okay. hacemos la salsa. Lágrima del diablo. The Devil's Tears. Sriracha. Made in Buenos Aires. Sí. Qué bien, qué bien. Bueno, mira, ah, la hora ah, sí ya está llegando, no sé sí. de qué tamaño era, pero ya está llegando por acá. Sí, sí. Ah, es, es mucha nostalgia para... Sí, ¿no? Siete, <risa> sí. Hace siete años atrás. Sí, 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 sí. Más de siete años. Wow. Lo que hacíamos antes fue, nos sentábamos acá y mirábamos episodios de South Park. Ah, South Park? Sí, obvio, soy fan, fan de South Park. Sí. When I was here, I was here with like, uh, all my roommates were from France. <laughs> And uh, we would have like these parties up here on the balcony. And those were fun. Um, The funny thing is though, I would try to like invite the local Argentinian students from my university and they'd always be afraid to come. They'd be like, no, you live in the ghetto, we're not coming. They just didn't, they had no idea how beautiful this place was. ¿Llegaron juntos de Venezuela? Eh, no, 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 llegué yo primero y acá vivía una amiga mía, que okay. era la baterista de mi banda. Okay. Y... Nada, vine un día acá a tomarme una cerveza y me dijo, che, necesito a alguien que se mude a partir del 15, ¿sabes de alguien? Yo. Sí. Y me vine a ir para acá y después de a poco se fueron mudando los demás chicos. Ah, ok. Y se festejaban los cuartos. ¿Y ustedes en la casa todos son de Venezuela? Eh, ahora sí. Ah, man. You can't even imagine the nostalgia bomb that this gives me. And it's not even about the nostalgia, to be honest. It's, you know, like when I was here seven years ago, I was in the middle of a master's program that I wasn't that interested in. And uh, what I used to do when I lived here is I would just, I got into the habit of staying up incredibly late. I'm talking like six, seven a.m because my classes didn't start until like 7 p.m. at night, so it didn't matter. Didn't help that, you know, there were like parties here all the time. But anyway, and I would just sit around and I would genuinely wonder like what I wanted to do with my life. Like the thought of working a normal nine to five job was literally putting me into a panic. It was depressing. I just didn't want to do it. So I was just desperately trying to come up with ways to avoid what I thought was the inevitable, working some boring office job for the next several decades. And uh, eventually, with the help of many late nights, potentially a few substances, I came to the conclusion that what I should do is go to China. And then I ended up spending six years there, building a little company. So it was kind of a transformative place for me. And now I'm glad to see that's being transformative for another group of new arrivals. This place was great. It's really cool, you know. I forgot when this was built exactly, but it was at least a hundred years ago. Back in uh, the boom times of Argentina. Back when Argentina was a potential rising superpower. Pretty difficult 
salir de Venezuela o no? No, pues nosotros vinimos hace bastantes años, que fue oh, okay. algo difícil. Claro, tenemos 8 y 7 años acá. Sí, la, el momento de las crisis más severas fue como en 2000... Cuando 2012, 13, cuando 3, se murió Chávez. No, pero la economía, económicamente más adelante fue solo peor, siempre peor, sí. Okay. ¿Ahora están uh, utilizando dólares de Venezuela? ¿o qué? Sí, no existen bolívares. Recién vino Jorge sí. y me dijo eso, como olvídate de... Sí. Y me dice así, ves a gente, no sé, de barrio que llega y de repente saca un billete de 100 dólares como si nada. Sí, sí. Sí, porque la inflación en Argentina es un problema, pero... pero claro, Venezuela es, es, es lo que te digo, sí. sí, sí. sí. Pero, pero está pasando parecido acá, porque cuando, cuando yo vine para acá... Sí. Un dólar eran 8 pesos. Sí. 8 pesos. pesos. Sí. Ahora son 200. Para, para mí, 3 pesos. Para ti, 3 pesos. Claro, vez. yo vine sí, en el. Muchas gracias. Mucho éxito sí, para sí. ti. Suerte con uh, todo. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Que estés bien. That was a nice little trip down memory lane. Those guys were awesome. Definitely fully let them sponsor this video with their hot sauce. Lagrima del Diablo, the devil's tears. If you're in Argentina, go get some. Throw it on your asado. Say what you will about Buenos Aires, but it has to be one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. And even when you've got these old buildings that are falling to disrepair, covered in graffiti, it still looks nice. There's still a certain beauty to it. You're just walking around, you're surrounded by neoclassical buildings. <laughs> You'd be confused if you were dropped here. You wouldn't be sure if you were in Paris or Barcelona. Very similar feel. So, that was a nice little visit to the old neighborhood. And uh, I guess I could try to exaggerate and make this place seem as dangerous as many Argentinians think it is. But in reality, it's not. When I used to live here, the worst that might happen to me is when coming back at night for one of my classes, uh, one of the local street workers or drug dealers might try to offer their services to me. But, eh, not a big deal. Never saw any shootouts or anything like that. And basically, if you could put up with that, you could live for something like $200 a month in a beautiful house like that. Okay, so now we're back in what would be called El Micro Centro, which is basically the business downtown area of Buenos Aires. And uh, thanks for coming along today for my little nostalgia trip back to my old neighborhood in the hood. Ooh, gotta watch out for the, uh, the dog shit that's everywhere here in Buenos Aires. Uh, but yeah, I hope, if you haven't realized by now already, <laughs> that when I choose to go to like these quote unquote rough neighborhoods instead of, you know, the wealthy, fancy, touristy neighborhoods, it's not because I'm just doing this for videos. I've literally lived in these places myself. And if I'm being completely honest, I'd rather hang out with a lot of people in those neighborhoods than some of the snobs I find in the upper class neighborhoods. That's just the way I am. It's almost like these videos are like a message to my classmates seven years ago, trying to tell them like, look, you can come for the party. It's not that dangerous here. But anyway, I'm really happy and excited to be back here. I love Argentina. And I've had some really good memories in this country. And in spite of all the problems, because there's always at least one economic crisis when I come back here, I hope to show you while I'm here how nice this country can be. I'm gonna be here for about a month. So settle in, 
make yourself comfortable, get yourself on a copa de vino, maybe on a taza de café, or mate, que se yo, and uh, get ready. <laughs> Vamos a recorrer toda Argentina, o tal vez un poco menos, pero bueno. Nos vemos, boludo. Chao.